let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we've got a small milestone to celebrate. There are 600 subscribers to Redbeard's YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Even though I get nowhere near 600 views on any of my videos, thank you to every one of you, I guess, who's seeing this now and subscribes and actually watches my stuff. This is a bottle of vintage 2015 Flanders Red Ale aged in oak fodders, fodders, whatever the hell that word is, by Rodenbach. Yes. I had something by them. I want to say it's called their Grand Cru or something. I think it was a sour. I'm pretty sure this is a sour, sour ale. I'm pretty sure a Flanders Red Ale is a sour beer. It's coming in at 7% ABV. And this uh, Rodenbach thing is out of um, Belgium. Belgian beer. But possibly a Belgian beer I will enjoy. Ooh. So let's uh, see if we can get into this insanity. It's like some hardcore ultra foil they've got on here. Eh. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. That could work. Let's pretend it's wine, huh? <laughs> All right. No idea what kind of a corking experience this is going to be, but we can hope for fun. Okay? I like fun corks. I like when they just, like, when, when this little metallic piece is actually needed because that little bastard just wants to jump right over there. Let's see how she's gonna go. Oh, she feels a little tight. There she goes. Come on. Hit a pop. Good. Pop good. That's in there freaking tight. Come on. It's like the most fun. There she go. That wasn't that good though. Didn't even hit the ceiling. Whatever. Let's see what we've got here. Really not sure what to expect from this beer. It was, I want to say, about $14 at the LCBO, so one of the pricier bottles of beer I have ever purchased. Looks really nice, so we get a picture of the really nice. A little bit on the dark side, but not that dark. I'm pretty sure as soon as I go, boosh, yeah. Light can penetrate with no problem. Nice red color, hence the Flanders Red Ale. That smells funky, but like good at the same time. There's like some kind of fruity vibe or something going on in there. I really don't know. I'm hoping for sour, tart, potent, deliciousness, little chunks of foil all over the place. Sure. Let's give her a shot. Woo! Wow. That's a little on the tart side. I can't describe the flavor. Sweet and sour. Not really getting any kind of hint that it was aged in oak fodders, fodders, whatever the frickin' word is. Fuiters, fuiters, fuiters. No. Yeah, that just happened. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Idiot. Let's celebrate 600 subscribers by fucking everything up. Woo! This beer is intense. It's like, I'd say it's almost a little too complex for my palate. I can't, I like it, 
but I can't pick apart what's going on or what's happening inside of the glass. Um, Rodenbach Vintage 2015 is a unique unblended Flemish red-brown ale that has matured for two years in 4,000 gallon oak casks personally selected by me. Whoever me might be. Rodenbach Vintage has a unique balanced sweet sour taste and a long fresh fruity aftertaste. It has been honored with several ale awards as best in its category. How fancy. Um, I'm not seeing any kind of ingredients. I'm assuming on here it says, yeah, there we go. Contains barley malt stuff. That's great. Uh, date goes, it's a... Uh, 2015, aged for two years, released, I'm assuming, sometime last year. Oh, 1708, 20, apparently this is good until 2022. Excuse me. So, um, oh, wow. There was actually a really nice kind of fruity presence in that burp. Almost like an apple. Weird. Unusual. That is really, really nice. Apparently, uh, this entire bottle is 4.1. I believe that's Australian beer units. Because that's how they keep track of how much you should drink. How many units of beer have you had today? Um, Rodenbach.be, I think. Yeah, B-E. We'll take you to Rodenbach. Roden, Roden, blah, 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 blah. I got the best working mouth in the world, baby. Says what I want it to every single time. Yeah. Nope. Hell no. This is a delightful beer. It really is. I'm very, very happy that I purchased it. Say it's, again, it was expensive, but I'm going to be drinking this for at least an hour, minimum. So, I'm kind of getting your money's worth there, I guess. It's a bigger bottle, 750. This is really good. Like, Sweet, sour, exactly what it says. Sweet, sour, fruitiness. Delightful. Randomly, Marcel texted me saying there's a bottle of beer, again by Rodenbach, in the LCBO, some kind of oak aged, again, some weirdness, $27 a bottle. That is possibly the most expensive bottle of beer that I've ever had, like in my reach kind of thing. I'm pretty sure I can go to the LCBO and buy that beer. It's insane. And apparently it's also $27 in the States, but like $27 American as opposed to here being $27 Canadian. So in the, in the, uh, in the States, you're getting just a wee bit raped on the price. Yeah, I want to sit down and enjoy the hell out of this beer. So I've now been recording for 10 minutes. So I'm going to do that. Really, really, really good beer right here. I took a long time to drink that. The sun has come up and I'm sure the lighting is a lot different than it was when I took the break initially. So we're gonna give this a swish. It's from Belgium. Good little swish in there. And let's see, I don't even know if it'll come through on the camera if anything really happens as far as... Wow, there really wasn't much left in there. Not seeing much sediment at all. It's fine. Good with that. A little bit though. 
Probably won't come through in the camera that much. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. Mmm. It's so just... F like, fruity candy. It's delightful. It's very unbeery. It's one of those... Like, aside from the, the smells kind of off-putting a little bit. It's got kind of like that, that funky aroma. Doesn't smell great. And I could see some people being like, Ooh, that smells like it's gone bad or something. But... If you got someone to try it without really giving it a big whiff first and didn't tell them it was beer, there's a chance they probably would, probably wouldn't know it was beer. It's good stuff. Untapped has a overall rating of 4.08 out of 5 with 5,583 ratings. So that's pretty damn good. People like it a lot. Beer Advocate gives it a 4.22 out of 5 with only 17 ratings, so yeah, light. And it was not found, like, it wasn't found specifically on Rate Beer because it all it has is the Rodenbach Vintage, and this is not the first one of those beers they've released. So, uh, yeah, this has a picture of something from 2000 and. 13 on it. Oh, uh, well, this is kind of cool right here. There's like a whole... Rodenbach Vintage is the unique result of selection by our Rodenbach Brewmasters. The barrel, after two years of maturation, has produced the best beer. The best barrel of the year. The label is always the number of barrels stated and the year which marks the beginning of maturation. Roden Vintage, vintage is Rodenbach Vintage. is 100% matured old beer. Resulting in superior Roden, Rodenbach Grand Cru. What? I've had Grand Cru. Tastes complex, round, intense, and refreshing. Typically, the apple tart fruitness combined with caramel. That's funny, I got apple taste. Like, one of my first drinks I said that. Look at me go. Wild honey, oak, hint of vanilla, cherry, and licorice. Its aroma has hints of caramel and oak, as well as notes of green apples mixed with honey and chocolate. The soft, sour, fruity aftertaste is long and nicely balanced like a Grand Cru wine. Ingredients, water, barley, melt, malt, melt, corn, corn, and hops. Really? Really? I don't know if that's the same as this, but it has a 7% ABV. Over here on Rate Beer, might as well, it's 3.97 out of 5 if you care, so, uh, drink number the last. Mmm, wow. That's just damn tasty stuff. Rodenbach, your vintage 2015. Was it Flanders Red Ale or, yeah. Flanders Red Ale aged in oak Letters. I don't know the. I don't know the, the name. I don't know how to say that. Fodder. Fodder. I think it's fodder. I don't care really. Life will go on if I can't pronounce a single word. Rating on the spear. That's a nine. It would have been a ten if there was actual ingredients and some kind of brood on date. It's just how I roll. And that's gonna do it for today's daily drink vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video, and again, thank you so much, everyone who subscribed. The beard loves you all a whole frickin' bunch. If you like the video, a little thumbs up, always appreciate it. You wanna see more? Subscribe, smack the bell notification so you know when new videos are live. And if you've got something to say to me, have you had the beer? Did you like the beer? Did you like the beer as much as I like the beer? Because I love the beer. Have you had that $27 bottle of their beer? I don't know, start the conversation in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Elden Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! I know what's happened before that uh, I took a break and it was like still dark out and then I came back from the break and it was basically daytime. It's so bright right now. What time is it? It's almost 7 a.m. I still haven't gone to bed though, so you know, it's all good.